guys, welcome to Simply Drawful, the show where we draw pictures, create stories, it's a lot of fun. Today we're going to continue that cute thing we kind of did last week, because, uh, you know, a lot of people st still are not okay. Um, we're not okay. <laughs> So, I'm joined by Kay. Yo. Christian, not able to join us again this week, sadly, but hopefully next week. Uh, so today, as I said, we're continuing with the cute theme. We're actually going to draw some new cute animals for you. We put down some rules. It has to be, like, a new animal. You can use parts of other animals, so, you know, like the fluff of a chinchilla with the, the ears of a koala or whatever, you know? But it has to be new. So me and Kay are both going to take turns drawing these cute little critters for you. And then you guys can vote down in the comments on who's you think is cuter and this will be the beginning of our cute war which we might continue next week depending on how things go so i'll go ahead and just start us off here you know gotta get in my head what's a cute animal what specifically makes that animal cute i actually know so i'm hoping <laughs> i'm not going to give you any pointers because i'm hoping to use my psychological knowledge of uh bulby's theories of attachment <laughs> and scientific uh, methods for making <laughs> cute things so i am not going to help you all right well luckily pretty good judge of what's cute we gotta start off with kind of just a cute round body. Yeah, that is that is definitely one thing that contributes to cuteness. Now, what class of animal are you drawing? Well, it's definitely a mammal. That is one of the things <laughs> that does result in high cuteness factors. Although I have seen some very cute baby alligators. And burbs. Yeah, and birds. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna end up drawing burbs because I will just draw a chocobo. <laughs> Chocobos are pretty adorable. If you don't know what a chocobo is, I suggest you look it up on the internet right now. Now you have to be careful because tails have to be fluffy with mammals because if tails are not fluffy, you get things like uh, rats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even though rats are adorable, um, apparently people are creeped out by their tails. Not all people, but I have heard somebody say, oh, it feels like a snake. It's like, you've clearly never touched a snake before. <laughs> or a rat tail. Yeah, the rat tails are very fuzzy. A snake very smooth and kind of silky. Like everyone's always like, oh, they're slimy. It's like, no, they're not slimy. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I had an idea and it, it did not follow through. He's like the uh, Miyagi of cute. I feel like he should be teaching me like, karate. if not karate, <laughs> if not karate, like wise sort of life lessons yeah. that maybe include me detailing his car. Like, I'm not sure yet. I'm not either. <laughs> The scientific consensus is that you either need very, very tiny hands or you need very, very big hands. So dogs with huge paws are ridiculously adorable. That's true, they are. So you have to have proportion, like disproportionate uh, uh, paws. Uh, that's kind of like a cat monkey, raccoon, koala bear, lemur thing. Okay. I mean, when I ink it, it might turn out a little better. Let's see. <laughs> it feels like you shouldn't feed this thing <laughs> after midnight. It kind of does. But you know what? He's such a good animal. You can feed him whenever. You can get him wet. I think he smells like wet dog, though. He probably would a little bit. Maybe you shouldn't give him wet. Maybe he does some dry baths. I think you need to fill in his eyes because it looks like googly eyes right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'll get to it. Don't worry. Does this thing grant wishes or something? <laughs> you know what, he probably does. He's a very mythical creature. I think of it having like a princess laugh. The, oh! <laughs> he tells you a mystical truth about nature. <laughs> Definitely that type of creature where he's just like, ah, I know everything. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'll grant you a wish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's my little koala bear, cat, monkey, lemur thing. <laughs> I think he's adorable. <laughs> All right, up next is Kay. So, uh, what I know about cute is that uh, circles are involved. Yes. Circles are definitely involved. I was able to figure that much out, although, my, to be fair, mine didn't turn out very round. He started that way. So we also have two options when it comes to faces. It turns out that we really, really, really like uh, small faces when compared to sort of bigger heads. We also like huge eyes. Yeah. Also blep faces. No nose? Nope, because the less detail, the cuter. Uh, I went a little detailed on mine. Uh, mammals are considered, they are going to be considered cuter. But you already sort of uh, took the mammal. Mm -hmm. you, so, I mean, you can still do a mammal. There, there nope. are so many mammals. Nope, we're not. 
We are right. not going to do a mammal. I'm pretty sure this is going to be some fish, reptile, dragon thing. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, that means I can't really do ears as well. Maybe he is a reptile-mammal hybrid. He's got some scaly stuff about him, but he's also got some fuzzy stuff about him. Tiny arms and legs. Uh, he needs to be bigger circle. Oh, okay. So he needs to have... <laughs> that is a very... Fat animal. <laughs> I think he has a a, a glandular eating... problem. <laughs> I was gonna say eating problem, but no, it's a glandular problem. <laughs> it's perfect. Don't size shame. Oh, I'm not size shaming. How does he move around? <laughs> does he roll? <laughs> he's in water. Oh, so okay. I th like a manatee. He's a he's a sea cow, <laughs> mixed between a manatee, a deer, and a newt. <laughs> yeah, he he does have a little bit of an ax uh, axial vibe. He's not very hydrodynamic. <laughs> You don't know. Well, that wasn't our goal. We didn't set out to draw the most hydrodynamic animal we could. We set out to draw the most cute animal. And he is pretty adorable. <laughs> I keep seeing his blood face. <laughs> oh, and he makes the little sound that the screaming frogs yeah. do. <laughs> yep. So I was thinking, or a chew toy. I was thinking maybe the size of like a billiard, billiards ball. That could also work. That could be the full-grown size. Yeah. He goes blep. He blep. goes blep. Blep is always the cutest. Yes. Is his name blep? <laughs> I think it's um, Blepiticus adorbicalicus. Blepiticus adorbicalicus? Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, mine's a pug monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yours is a pug monkey. <laughs> All right, well, there you guys go. Comment down below on who you think drew a cuter animal. Don't forget to also comment on what you want to see us do next week, as well as like, share, and subscribe. And then, thanks for watching, guys. You have a wonderful week. See you next time. Bye. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos by us, click the thumbnails. It should take you to one of our latest video antics. And, as always, be sure to like and subscribe to help us out. Or you can click here to support us over at Patreon to help us create even more quality content. Until next time, thanks again for watching.